What's up guys, I'm going to be doing a little tutorial on how to build several different redstone cannons. I'm going to be doing one which will work from a kind of short distance, it will stack sand and it will blow through a wall, it's called a hybrid cannon. And I'll be doing another one which works from long distances, so let's get started. So first you're going to want to place two blocks at the front where you want to be aiming, then you're going to want to persist to build about maybe 12, 14 blocks backwards, and then block off like that. Place your bucket of water at the end, and then then you're going to, want to make a little platform over here and put three pistons behind it. Now, just put well right in front of those pistons, right there, and place the half slab just there. This cannon will uh, do pretty well against short distances and it can fire up, up to 6 bits of projectile TNT inside sand, meaning that it can even defeat water blocks. So we want what to do is place 8 dispensers, put a block there and place another dispenser, and then place a dispenser on top of it. The dispenser, the second dispenser is not necessary, you can just do it with one dispenser, but if you want to go for the most power possible, you can do a second one. And then just put your comparator down, do a little loop, that'll make a rapid fire. And go over to the other side. Now what you want to do is put three blocks there, another three, and put dispensers leading into the cannons. And two clicks of delay on those, two clicks of delay. Click the repeater twice. I'm going to put two to save up top. Set from this, these repeaters need to be on three ticks of delay, which is three clicks, three clicks you want on those repeaters. And just go ahead and redstone them up and build a little redstone staircase leading up to that those those additional repeaters there. And just put blocks in front of the repeaters right there. Nice. Now you always always make a U shape with the with the with your redstone across the repeaters and behind the water. And now you want to add nine additional repeaters, like so. And Go to the other side and add 7 repeaters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There we go. And attach them up, attach them up. Good to you. Now we want to add 4 ticks of delay, 4 clicks to each individual repeater. Next, got that. And there's your cannon done. Now look as it, as it, as it fires. Identical cannons. Let's give you a demonstration of a five. This is a hybrid cannon. As you can see, it didn't explode. That's because there wasn't enough delay on the projectile TNT. So just go ahead and add a bit more delay to that, and then we can see what happens. And you've now raised the base, and you've got as much diamond armor on whatever else they have as fish. Uh, there's a picture showing you what to, what to do. Okay, so now onto the long range cannon now. Just so similar designs, so you, the whole the base design is exactly the same, just make some blocks up the ways and put a bucket of water at the very end of that. Um, just build a little platform out of the ways. Like so. And then add what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna add two rows of two rows of pistons. Uh, put repeaters behind there. And uh, yeah, just do that. Now push bucket of water. You're gonna want your half slab. If you don't use the half slab, if you get the half slab your can will probably blow up so make sure you're under that. Um, it's also not necessary to build it out of any sort of way. You can build it out of any block you want, apart from glass, basically. Um, pretty much any block you want. Now you want to add two rows of dispensers, apart from those, apart from that first dispenser. Do not add two rows there, or else your cannon will blow up. Just do it exactly like I've done it here. Uh, just go ahead and block off that water, so it's not, it's less easier to place the dispensers. Sorry for the misclicks. It happens. We all do it. Just go ahead and place blocks behind there, like so. 
and put redstone on top of those blocks and on top of the dispensers himself. Excellent. That's nice. And then you can just get rid of that. So you want to add your projectile uh, dispenser now. Like so, you only need one on this cannon. And then just make another little redstone staircase. Pretty easy stuff. And then you want to add your converter. So add the two closer. So we the two posts. Move it back a block. Nice. So let's just bit set up, make the traditional U shape for the dispensers. You're almost ready to wire it all up. So just add a nine repeaters as usual. So it's nine repeaters right there. And then link them up to the main redstone and seven repeaters. And your button. Do a quick practice, it's important to the practices before you put in your TNT. And now you just want to do that. You additionally want to add your roof to it. This is what this makes this cannon so good, is the roof. This is this will make it shoot nice and straight. And you just go ahead and add the sand if you want to. There you go. And that's us pretty much good to go. Now just add, and to add delay to those repeaters, 4 ticks of delay which is 3 clicks each time and then 2 clicks here which is 3 ticks of delay, so 2 clicks. And then just go ahead and add some delay to that, I like to add 3 dispensers, 3 repeaters and then turn that on for, for multiple projectile shots. So here's a demonstration of the cannon walking, hopefully, just add some sand. Click the button. Oh. Click the button. Awesome. So I'm just gonna fire sand on the first shot. So I've got a team, so I've got sand for the TNT to stack on top of. That's crucial. This cannon won't work unless the TNT has something to land on. So you need to stack sand first. You see the TNT the sand stack now, making a sort of stack there. And you can go ahead and add projectile TNT, like so. Boom. Didn't quite blow through there because there wasn't enough delay. So add a wee bit more delay to those repeaters. And then add some rapid fire if you want to. Yep, yeah, there we go. A little tip, if you're, if you're turning that comparator on, you might want to take some delay away. Um, it just means it makes your cannon less likely to blow up. All those repeaters, all those dispensers are full of TNT. Watch this. And boom, we have a nice little hole and you're in again. From an even longer distance. a nice day. Um, I'll be uploading more series on special on cannons, redstone cannons, um, so stay tuned, subscribe and like. Thank you, goodbye.